get excited, get excited. If you don't want to get excited, just it will take the energy from the neutron, it will take the neutron. I think this will be more troublesome. I think the physics what we studied was not like this. Means you fill up a gas, there's the one first probability, yeah? first case, the first situation, first possible situation I'll write it. Uh, next again, uh, what, what is the another possibility? The another possibility is, <coughs> I'll, I'll, I'll write the possibilities here. Hmm? There's the initial, there's the final. Hmm. Now second, second possible situation. They both will get stuck together they'll move with a common velocity and and this will be excited <coughs> this can be excited it can also happen when do this is possible when the neutron comes with sufficient kinetic energy this is strictly that one for any kinetic energy the, the situation one is possible for any case second situation is possible when it comes with a sufficient kinetic energy so th that will put that one so what is the minimum kinetic energy of the incident neutron so that this will get excited will derive equation. Minimum kinetic energy needed by the neutron to excite hydrogen atom. You can see it has reached n equal to 2. So this is the initial. Uh, look, look at what is the type of collision perfect inelastic collision no? perfect inelastic collision this is what don't say perfect elastic collision is only one is what inelastic either will be perfect or just inelastic so it is an elastic collision uh, when do such a thing will occur when the neutron is having minimum kinetic energy to excite hydrogen atom. How to calculate that? How to calculate that minimum kinetic energy? So let me apply conservation of momentum. So this is coming with initial velocity V0. So what all this neutron should carry energy? It should carry energy so that hydrogen atom should get excited and also <coughs> they must have translational motion. Kinetic energy of the center of mass of system. So the kinetic energy carried by neutron that should be equal to excitation energy plus kinetic energy of center of mass. So this if you want to write VCM. Uh, can we apply conservation of linear momentum mass of neutron M, M and V naught V naught should be equal to MN plus MH into VCM. Uh, what is the minimum kinetic let me let me keep it as it is kinetic energy of center of mass how you write mn plus mh by 2 into vcm square and we know vcm this is from where i brought conservation of linear momentum what about this uh, what is this equation uh, this total modern physics now what i'm going to write this condition of th th this is what you should think here the total modern physics even the next chapter nuclear physics also we are going to work out in this way only uh, what is this equation anybody is it conservation of kinetic energy no conservation of energy look at delta e delta e is not kinetic energy it is the excitation energy that one so this is what conservation of energy in any reactions in any reactions in modern physics total energy is conserved then momentum is conserved they are the fundamental things nothing to do not like conservation of mechanic energy conservation of kinetic energy come out of <coughs> the collisions what you said in mechanics you have to say goodbye to it sir goodbye how, how? Uh, sir what about quotient of restitution not defined because is it possible for this uh, uh, proton neutron to undergo deformation 
Is it possible to change its lattice structure? Nothing to do, no. Is it Newton can it undergo deformation? Because if I say quotient of restitution means what? When impulse of deformation, reformation will come. Impulse of reformation, deformation means what? When the body should undergo deformation. Because how you define E? E J R by J D. The body should undergo deformation and reformation. Means the neutron and hydrogen atom should undergo deformation. Subatomic particles will not undergo any deformation. So when they don't undergo deformation, means no question of these things defined. No question of quotient of restitution defined. So you, nothing to do with <laughs> quotient of restitution formula here. This is the primary aspect of this discussion. What we are doing. No way quotient of restitution will come into in modern physics. G getting this one, nothing impulse. How do they move after collision? Maybe Newton will move deflect by ninety degrees, sir. How it is possible? <coughs> Not due to impulse. <coughs> so then, who will determine the Newtonian physics cannot explain? See, what is my goal as a physics teacher? What is my goal when I teach modern physics? I should end up with question mark. If I make you happy. Then you will not read further. As a physics teacher, what I should do, I should end up with every topic with a question mark to know that to tell you clearly that the Newtonian physics is having some limitations now. We have still further to read a lot called as quantum mechanics. With that only we can understand this nature systematically, still more systematically. That's why the modern physics we have kept in the end. So almost every topic I, I should end up with a question. It's good. If I avoid that questioning, no, then definitely what happen? You you feel that okay, we know everything physics. Then go on, you don't learn further. So, so uh, impulse, uh, impulse of deformation, reformation, coefficient of restitution, <coughs> all they are not defined here, and we should not bother also. And in all these collisions, what the conservation of energy and momentum is conserved. That's what I applied here. Okay, let's come for this VCM. I'll substitute here. If I solve this. Delta E, M N plus M H by two. What is V C M? M N V naught. Ah, this formula is I'm going to exclusively use in to define the type of reactions. I think if you exothermic endothermic reactions to define that exothermic endothermic reactions, I am going to take help of the same idea when I go for nuclear reactions. How to say the given reaction is exothermic endothermic? I'm going to take help of this condition. So K minimum is equal to delta E plus this should be M N V naught square by two. Keep it here. M N into M M H. So what is M N V naught square? This should be equal to K minimum. Now this is a generalized formula. So K minimum, I'll bring on this side. K minimum equal to one minus M N by M N plus M H is equal to delta E. So further, K minimum equal to delta E M N plus M H by M H. Now this, this you put mod, so this should become equal to one of the best formulas. Huh? Now you can say best friend in entire modern physics for you. What is M N? Mass of incident particle. What is M H? Mass of the target. You can still more generalize it. Oh. I uh, know uh, what is this one. So, if this is the incident particle, this is a target nucleus, target which is at rest. What is the minimum energy to excite it? So, the the formula is given by delta E excitation energy, one plus mass of incident particle by mass of target. Is it okay? No, there's a formula. Okay, let's come for the.
discussion <laughs> what we started okay neutron and what we have is hydrogen atom what minimum energy the neutron should come just equal to 10.2 electron volt to excite the answer is no put it mass of neutron by mass of target mass of neutron by mass of hydrogen two times of that it should come then only it can excite it Second situation. What will happen? I'll, I'll tell you. See what will happen. I'll tell you. Don't, don't go for now Newtonian physics. Try to come out of Newtonian physics. What will happen? What will not happen? I'll summarize all things. Second possible situation. Now here, if the neutron coming with minimum kinetic energy to excite hydrogen atom, then so what is that minimum kinetic energy? I'm just trying to calculate. I got how much it is. So I come to the formula. How much I should calculate? K minimum. It should be equal to delta E. How much? Ten point two electron volt. Mass of neutron equal to this will be one by one. So finally, how much we are getting? Twenty point four electron volt. Okay, now if that neutron comes with this much of kinetic energy, twenty point four electron volt, what happens? Inelastic collision may occur. Or it may occur what the first situation, sir. What is this like? Again, you are troubling us today a lot. It's I am not troubling the nature. In fact, behaves like this. Means, sir, like I'll send with that minimum kinetic energy. What you say? Then which will occur first or second? It's left to hydrogen atom. Huh? Okay, sir. We'll do one thing. We'll take ten hydrogen atoms, ten neutron particles, and all the ten neutron particles. They'll come with this much of energy. In that, can you tell me which atom will, which hydrogen atom will undergo excitation, which will not undergo excitation? We don't know. One which undergoes, we say that has undergone excitation. One which has not undergone excitation, we say it has not undergone excitation. This particular physics is what I think against the Newtonian physics, no? cause and effect. Nineteenth century, what happened when all they encountered what happened? They were in trouble. Like what to do? Shall we teach such a things, random random behavior of matter, or systematic behavior of matter? What will happen to the next coming <coughs> years? How do the science and technology will be accepted? Random way this very problematic. No, means uh, tomorrow morning class is there or not? If I reply may or may not, will become random. No, will be there systematic. Will not be there systematic. So what type of life? What type of world we want? we want somewhere it should be some order but what happening here it's a random the nature in fact will behave like that only at microscopic level at macroscopic level we see a systematic order but at microscopic level it will be a random that's what is telling means i'll i'll, I'll put there's a minimum energy so let, let, let me conclude here uh, what all we did no so f <coughs> i'll just put diagrammatic form so that at least you will accept it second situation what happens is The neutron it is coming with minimum kinetic energy for excitation twenty point four electron volt and this hydrogen atom which is at rest and equal to one ground state. First situation what happens is like neutron will come to rest. The hydrogen atom will move with kinetic energy how much? Nothing happened just elastic collision. Second situation, though it is coming, it now it is coming with minimum kinetic energy that one, and the hydrogen atom is in ground state. After collision, what happens? Both together, they'll move with a common velocity, and the hydrogen atom will be there in the exact state. First and second. Anything can happen, huh? So that's why whenever I I I want to study the behavior of atom, shall we go for one atom or a or a specimen of amount of atom that one amount of substance only? Like hydrogen gas. Yes, I'll I'll discuss for hydrogen gas only.
which one will occur we don't know which atom will under which situation will occur we don't know that one if it is 20 uh, so next next I'll, i'll 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 put all the things in order huh? so that if once you get clarity i think you know how to see conservation of energy conservation of matter already you know you learned in mechanics only thing is you need what, what actually occurs there now if it comes with kind of energy 20 electron volt uh, tell me what will happen here it is not possible no the energy is not sufficient to excite so hydrogen atom will not get excited so then what will happen <coughs> the possibility is this will come to rest the hydrogen atom will move with kinetic energy 20 electron volt and will not get excited so what is the collision here elastic what about here perfect in elastic and here again elastic i think i i wanted to discuss this 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 is the main or criteria if it comes with minimum energy to excite hydrogen atom what are the possibilities two possibilities are there either elastic or perfect in elastic if it comes with energy less than k minimum then open it will undergo elastic here and now <coughs> what will happen if it comes with energy more than k minimum the the last case uh, th this will uh, the whole conclusion is what i'm putting at one place here if it comes with kinetic energy so 20.4 no let, let it come with 21 electron volt or if you want 25 well, again if i make 25 no it may jump to hydrogen may jump to third or fourth state that's why i'm just making more than 20.4 there's a neutron uh, okay tell me what will happen here uh, is there energy sufficient to excite hydrogen atom Yes, the energy is sufficient to excite hydrogen atom. Then, then what will happen after collision? The neutron will move with a kinetic energy K n. The hydrogen atom will get excited and will move with kinetic energy K h. <coughs> uh, what is this? Not in just inelastic collision, no. and uh, now you have to ask a very beautiful question here to the teacher sir collision occurs we know uh, what we studied in mechanics collision occurs means heat will be generated deformation of body sound and you said also electromagnetic wave here what happens here the most of the collision that occur for in subatomic particles <coughs> it will be converted into radiation no question of deformation it also cannot be generated then everything what happen should be in the form of electromagnetic radiation so collision occurs due to collision what happen inelastic collision electro the the loss in kinetic energy that will be converted into electromagnetic radiation that radiation that photon when it absorbed by the hydrogen atom it gets excited everything occurs during that particular instant of time and again this hydrogen atom open will deexcite will give out that energy back not to neutron to some because neutron cannot absorb again the photon collides with neutron is there other other sequence i'm just showing that one here so what actually happens in elastic collision occurs then energy what pen will be a part of energy will be converted into <coughs> a like a electromagnetic radiation that radiation will be absorbed by the hydrogen atom and the hydrogen atom what pen will get excited how much needed for excitation that much will be released this one and the remaining will be available as kinetic energy of the this colliding particles so this is inelastic collision uh, and what about k h and k n we will not be equal they, they don't stick when they get stick together when it comes with minimum kinetic energy so when you get a problems i think these are the four cases is what possibility is there i think you, you should not call this a third possibility no this 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 two are one discussion we made here k less than k minimum here k greater than k minimum uh, get, getting this so uh, i think where this is very important so first uh, th this one like and all so usually what happen say if i send with more what will happen unnecessarily i'll be wasting energy no 
<laughs> I'm not bothered after cool. I want just hydrogen atom to get excited. Afterwards, what happened to Newton? I'm not bothered. So therefore, what is the best thing to save energy? I'll go for this in experiments. Therefore, in the books, what happened? They're just tested only on this. But in exam, I can ask you anything like this here of this kind. So for that, you should remember this formula: minimum energy incident particle target this one. Ah, what is the situation here again? The target when is the test? Ah, sir, why you are putting target test yet? Because most of the cases, what happen? I'll assume it to be a test. But sir, hydrogen gas will not be a test. It will be moving. That average kinetic energy will be zero. Or to the result and that one, it is assumed that. And we'll do experiment here. So most of the cases, the target nucleus, we assume it to be a test. And how much of minimum energy needed to excite that? <coughs> I'll calculate this formula. Delta E is how much? 10.2. I know delta E. Delta E is how much? 10.2. If you just send energy equal to 10.2, not possible, no. What can happen? You see here. Cannot get excited, so minimum energy needed to excitation. So this is what I should send here. Uh, able to understand? There's the thing I I took Newton. You can bring another atom. That one you can bring hydrogen atom. It let it strike with a helium or lithium atom. Th then also can manage here. Uh, there's a core idea which I'm putting. There's a one-dimensional add-on collision, but uh, some other thing will happen. What is some other thing? The collision may not be add-on. That that uh, if I put everything at one place, it'll get confused. Tomorrow we'll go for if not an add-on, what conditions will come? Hmm? So now everything what happen? Uh, it's an add-on. I put it. It may not occur add-on. Even this also. Then what minimum kinetic energy I should send so that it'll get excited and it's not add-on. Again, we have to derive an equations. Uh, able to understand now? So let's focus only on add-on. Now uh, here what can happen? It may not be add on. The the neutron will get deflected. Hydrogen will get deflected. Then we'll discuss what conditions will come tomorrow. We'll focus because there's a main idea. This one. So now today, what you study know how to excite hydrogen atom by making photons incident by electron and by the a particle. The particle can be neutron or any other atom also. Or lithium plus can come. Helium lithium double plus or helium plus can come. The energy is because how much? Ah, uh, the perfect inelastic collision will not occur for this. <coughs> If perfect inelastic collision occurs, then uh, what you do with the remaining energy, 0.6 electron volt? What you do for that? Ah, uh, you can ask question, sir. I'll, I'll I'll increase the velocity of center of mass. If you increase velocity of center of mass, this equation will get disturbed. Uh, th there's a strict condition. No? If it comes with a kinetic energy which is greater than that minimum, no, so they don't get stuck. Okay, th there's about the the initial part. So, uh, so th there's a method what you can follow here. We'll discuss many numericals related to this. So, minimum energy to excite hydrogen atom that you have to calculate. Okay, I'll go for the <coughs> next concept. So just only the theoretical information, nothing big. After this. Uh, for uh, we will draw energy level diagram for helium plus because the numericals you need this one rather than troubling in numerical so helium plus is hydrogen like atom no helium plus it is up to five levels will draw it so this is n equal to one. Uh, this is uh, what is the formula? E n is equal to minus d 
with the formula for helium plus. What should be the value of Z? Should be equal to 2. There is a ground state. These are excited states. <coughs> ah, no. First excited. Just tablet it. I mean, meanwhile, I'll construct the diagram. Second excited, and so on. Lithium double plus. I think these are the very widely we use in the numericals. So I, I'm picking up few. This is E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. Uh, lithium double plus Z equal to 3. Anybody value? 54.4 This will be minus 13.6 seroton out. <coughs> Put Z equal to 4. So I think uh, for hydrogen atom, what all you have? Multiply with 4. Problem solved. For hydrogen atom, what all we have? That energy level open should be multiplied with 4, no? 3.4 multiply with 4. Then 1.51 multiply with 4. E2, E3, this is E4. Anybody values E3? Minus six hundred. Minus six. If you give values, I'll, I'll proceed. Minus six. That's it. Minus six. Huh? Okay, fine. E four, E five. Some of you calculate this. Hmm? Multiply with 4 for hydrogen atom. E4 minus 3.41. E5. Ah, ne next, uh, after this, E5 2. Point, minus 2.18. Yeah, I think this will be enough. Fine. Uh, come for this one now. Lithium double plus. It's a hydrogen like atom. Only one helium will have two electrons. I'll, I'll remove one of the electrons. Then become helium plus. It will become hydrogen like atom. Multiply 13.6 by 9. Multiply all the levels with 9. Thirteen point six E four seven point six. Yeah.
last e5 4.89 okay thank you thank you okay these are the i think uh, in exams uh, of course you can use formula but but if you know these values straight away you, you can manage the question that, that's what i suggest you i hydrogen helium plus lithium double plus if you know at least up to 6 i think you remember till 6 because most of the numericals beyond that we don't ask till e6 if you remember for hydrogen helium plus lithium double plus in exam it will be very easy for you to manage you can get into the question very easily you can't waste time spend time in this particular thing okay this is about the energy level diagram drawing like this so they may give some hypothetical like here i took 13.6 i may bring some hypothetical 20 electron volt z square n square i'll ask you to construct the energy level diagram this is a method i think just it's a multiplication division nothing to do for different types of atomic structures we can construct energy level diagram this is a method of drawing energy level diagram. why we have to show gap <coughs> because the difference is more here no the difference is less so as you more as you move to the higher levels the difference in successive energy levels will decrease the energy so therefore the gap you have to show less that's what this particular uh, the Bose atomic model what is predicted here okay this is about i think today almost energy level diagram hydrogen spectrum excitation <coughs> how to excite hydrogen atom is what we uh, what all i discuss excitation of hydrogen atoms same thing can ask for helium also can be asked for lithium double plus also Th this above discussion is valid for helium plus and lithium double plus also <coughs>